So far with geometry types of things, we've worked with quadrilaterals and we've worked with um, perimeter and with finding area. And today we're going to start working with circles. And when we're working with circles, we're going to find the circumference. Now the circumference is essentially the same thing as what perimeter was with quadrilaterals. It's the distance around the outside. And we're also going to learn how to find the area of circles. Here are a list of vocabulary words that you should be familiar with. You need to know what a circle is, obviously. Um, you need to know what a radius is. The radius is the distance from the middle of the circle to the outside edge. Uh, the diameter is another important thing to know. It's the distance from one side of a circle to the other side if you're passing through the center point of the circle. The circumference is the distance around the outside of a circle. And the last thing that's new to us is that we're going to work with pi. Pi is an irrational number that's approximately 3.14. Formulas that you need to be familiar with for the work that we're going to do today. Um, first of all, you need to know circumference. Circumference equals 2 pi times pi times radius. Area is equal to pi times radius squared. And then the last two are kind of common sense little things. If we think about the definitions of what a diameter and a radius are, if we have a circle, the diameter goes all the way across and the radius goes from the middle to the edge. So if we want to know what the diameter is, we could take the radius and multiply it times 2. And if we wanted to know what the radius was, we could take the diameter and divide it by 2 to find those numbers. Now the formulas we're using are all going to use radius, so if they give you the diameter, you're going to have to remember to divide it by 2 to get the radius so that you can do the calculations. Here's the examples we're going to go through. For, both, for all of these circles, we want to find their circumference and the area. So the first thing we have to know is the formula for circumference. The formula for circumference is C equals 2 pi times radius, just as we had on our, on our last page. We need to fill in values. So C equals 2. We know that pi is equal to approximately 3.14, so we're going to fill in 3.14. And then we need to fill in the radius. Now they give us the radius in the picture, so we don't have to do any calculating to figure that out. Our radius is 5. And when we multiply those together, we find that their circumference is equal to 31.4. We need to put a label on our answer, and our label is inches. To find the area, again, we need to know what formula to use. So if we look back to our formulas over here, area equals pi r squared. We can go ahead and fill in the numbers that we know. Area equals pi, which is 3.14. The radius of the circle is 5, and we need to remember to square it because that's in our formula. When you go to do the calculations, if you're using your calculator, Feel free to use that x squared button over on the left side to figure the 5 squared. So when you punch that into your calculator, you'd punch in 3.14 times 5, hit the x squared button, and then hit equals. When you do that, you would get your answer, which is 78.5. We have to go ahead and label it. And since we're working, since we're working with area, we know that our answer has to be in units squared. So it's 78.5 inches squared. Here's our next example. In our next example, they give us the diameter. The diameter goes all the way across the circle, and we know that in our formulas, we need to know the radius. So in order to find the radius, we have to take our diameter, which is 7, and divide it by 2. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5, so our radius is 3.5 millimeters. So when we go ahead and use our formulas, we'll start with circumference, c equals 2 pi times r. We can fill in what we know. C equals 2 times pi. Pi is 3.14. The radius we found was 3.5. We calculate that. And that gives us the answer 21.98. We have to put our label on there for it to be correct. And then to find our area, again, we use our area formula. Area equals pi r squared. Fill in what we know. Area equals pi, which is 3.14. Our radius is 3.5. And we have to square it. And then we punch that into our calculator. We get 
area equals 38.465 and put on our label millimeters squared. Okay, we have one last example to go through. This circle has a radius of 8. Radius is what we need to use in our formula, so we're all set. Let's put our first formula for circumference. Circumference equals 2 times pi times radius. We fill in what we know. We multiply that with our calculator. And we get our answer of 50.24 centimeters. Okay. That leaves us with our last problem is to find the area of the circle. We put our formula first. Area equals pi r squared. We fill in what we know. And then when we use our calculator to calculate that, we find that the area is 200.96 centimeters squared. Make sure when you're doing your work that you show your work. Make sure you show what formulas you're using. That'll help you have more accurate work in the end.